Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my journals. About a week ago now, maybe a little bit less, I did a Q&A on Instagram and there were so many awesome questions. However, the video I would have had to make would have been over an hour long and nobody wants to sit there for an hour and listen to me ramble. So I've decided to split them up a little bit into more bite-sized pieces, I guess. So today I'm going to focus on my journals, what are they, what I use them for, etc, etc. I'm going to go from oldest to youngest. So first up we have the beautiful Blue. She is my very first traveler's notebook. I bought her, oh wow, nearly, nearly four years ago now. Yikes, that was such a long time ago. Um, I was in the middle of bullet journaling when I discovered the Traveler's Notebook system. I adored the idea of the Traveler's Notebook system. I bought Amelia here. Yes, I do name all of my all of my journals. You will, you will know their names by the end of this. So, what was I saying? Oh yes, I bought her. I hated the system when I first started. Couldn't figure it out. I couldn't handle the size. Going from an A5 Archer and Olive to this tiny skinny thing just wasn't me. I couldn't figure it out. So this beautiful, beautiful girl sat on a shelf for about two years until I pulled her out once I discovered junk journaling, which was definitely more my sort of style. I had journaled in A5 notebooks before, sort of in that junk journaling, um, collage-y, scrapbook-y kind of style, but it wasn't really fitting what I really liked. And then I found a community on Instagram and on Pinterest and things like that, and I got just so sucked into it. So that's when I pulled her off the shelf and started doing it more. Unfortunately, I still couldn't figure out the tall, skinny sort of side of it. So I struggled for a really long time until I bought my passport. We'll get to her eventually. But at the moment, I use Amelia as a workhorse type thing. So I've got two inserts. I have a interior design insert. I say interior design, but really... It's just a place to scribble all of my ideas of how to store things and what I want from like Ikea for a certain space and things like that. Basically just an ideas notebook for how to decorate and organize my house. So I made this insert from some, obviously my son scribbles things as well. I made this insert out of the Cream MD, Midori MD paper and some craft board. I really like it. I adore the sticker. One of my all-time favorite touch of paint stickers so pretty and then the other one is a wish list so at the moment I am revamping my wish list it used to be ridiculously long like these are all the pages of the wish list that I used to have in here I tore it all out because I am trying to minimize my spending and only buy stationery that I'm absolutely dying for something that grabs me by the heart and just goes Maddie you need it <clears throat> I've had way too many impulse items and way too many stationary regrets to have a crazy extensive wish list. So at the moment, she's only a little bit, um, at the, only at the moment, I'm yet to go through the, my old wish list and make sure that I haven't missed anything. Um, so ho eventually it will be full. I'm going to expand this from just stationary as well. I'm going to expand it to like TV shows that I would like or um, records that I really want to collect. Um, but at the moment it's just a stationary one. In the back I have a tracking um, page I guess or pages because it will grow obviously. Um, so if I'm waiting on anything I know when it was ordered, I know when it was sent and I know when I received it just so I have a, a rough idea of if it's ever lost or when I order again I know how long I'm going to be waiting for. I don't know about you guys but I watch the mailbox constantly and I watch tracking numbers constantly until I have it in my hands. So I like to have those things ready there waiting for when I need a reference, basically. So that's Amelia. I'm just gonna go through quickly what I've got dangling from her. So this is Jethro, my tiny little, my beautiful tiny little turtle that a pen pal gifted me. Thank you, Lily, I adore him. Um, this is a pressed flower in resin. I got this from a shop in Australia called Spotlight. I don't love it. It was really cute when I found it because I'm desperate for new charms. I am trying to find my charm 
sort of aesthetic, I guess. I'm not really into the brass um, charms anymore, not as much anyway. So I saw the flower and I was in love, but it's really rough. The resin isn't great. The bezel's really cheap. Like you, it almost looks plastic rather, actually it is plastic rather than metal. So I don't love it. It's not great quality, but it's a good placeholder until I find new ones. And then the brass tag, again, a gift from a pen pal. Thank you, Ayesha. I adore this with her name in it, which is Amelia. So that's, that's my beautiful, my beautiful blue. Now, next is my passport brown. I exclusively journaled in this little guy or little girl. Her name's Ava, so it's a girl. Um, I exclusively journaled in her for the longest time. It would have been probably eight months or so. It was a really long time that I only journaled in the passport. Um, I fell in love with the size. I have no idea why because a lot of people struggle with the small size, but I love it. I think because my journaling style is very minimalistic, but I... I adore. I adore this color. I adore the size. Everything is just beautiful. At the moment she's really really naked. I just took all of her charms off her because again I haven't been super happy with the brass. I haven't been really happy with the charms that I've had recently. So she's naked for now. I am searching high and low for something to replace it with. But yeah at the moment she holds my art insert. The insert is made by the glorious Emily from the 16th page. She makes the papers that go into it. Look at how stunning they are, you guys. The textures. Also, 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 just, just to let you guys know. Look at the gold flakes. Oh, I fell in love with that when I first saw it. It's so cute. But yes, you won't go wrong. This is one of my all-time favorite inserts. I love the textures. Just makes everything pop. So that's my passport. Now we move on to Theodore. Da, 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 da. Theo is my first camel. I conditioned my camels recently. I've actually conditioned all of my Travelers Company um, journals and they went really dark. And I don't like it. <laughs> um, I'm told that they will fade and they will dry out to the original color again. But I am yearning for that to happen already. Because I didn't really appreciate the fact of how dark they went. I still love them. I still love the color. It's still there. I can still see it. But it's just something to be mindful of. The conditioning your leathers does darken them a little bit. Also, I'm really sorry for the lighting getting bright and dark. I am using natural light and clouds are out today. So, bear with. Okay, first up we'll talk about what's on them because these are probably my all-time favorite charms. Look at them. Oh, I love them so much. So Aisha gifted me these. My beautiful pen pal Aisha. I adore her. She knows me so well. I don't often like butterflies on things, but these are just, I just can't. I just can't deal with how beautiful they are. I adore these. Um, she got me the hello because my tag is Hello Naya and I say hello all the time, almost too much. So I adore these. And this is from my best friend Sarah. It's a little jade charm. I adore this as well. So yes. Theodore gets special treatment and gets all my favorite charms for some reason, but I do adore these. Um, these are from a ceramics place here in Australia, in Brisbane. Um, again, I'll link everything that I can, everything that I mentioned in the description below, as including where I got all of these from. I got all but one from Australia. Again, I will link where I got them from down below. Now, Theo, my beautiful Theo, holds my regular art journal. So I have art journals and I have personal journals. So these two are my art journals. Basically, these are the ones you'll see on Instagram and on YouTube the majority of the time because they're the ones I allow you guys to have a look at. So this inset was also made by the beautiful Aisha. She drew me this picture too, which I think is so cute. I adore her. That's why she's at the front. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much Theo. Um, I adore him. I do enjoy journaling him quite a bit. He gives me a lot of inspiration. 
I honestly have no idea why I named him Theo. I was originally going to name my son Theodore, but something happened where I couldn't. But I named him Theo. There you go. <laughs> Theo's kind of boring. Um, my passport camel. Now, we all know my passport camel used to be my wallet. He is no longer my wallet anymore. He was sitting in my bag, collecting dust, being forgotten, and I couldn't handle it anymore. He needed to come out and be loved. Um, I named him Finnan from the TV show slash, actually it's book slash TV show, The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwall. I adore the TV show. It's a great TV show. I guarantee you, you should watch it, especially if you like things like Game of Thrones or Vikings or whatever. It's about the Danes and the Saxons. It's really cool. I really like it. Finnan is by far the best character. You'll know what I mean when you watch it. He is also gorgeous, so that helps. <laughs> um... Yeah, the reason why I don't use them as well anymore is because I started using my phone a lot. I use Google Pay a lot more and things like that. I literally only carry my, a wallet around for my ID. That's it. That's all I need them for. So at the moment, little Finnan, my beautiful little Finnan, is my personal passport. So I use him. I've tried decking him out a little bit because I do carry him a lot with me. He does travel with me in my Delphonics because he fits. The passport fits in the small Delphonics case pretty sweetly. Like that's a good, nice, cozy fit. So whenever we go out, whoops, putting away the wrong thing. Whenever we go out, I take Finnan with me because sometimes my husband decides to ignore me and play phone games um, or I finish eating before everybody else. So I do a little bit of journaling. So what I use this one for is a daily log. So every day, I try and write a sentence or two about what happened that day. Um, so yeah, every day I try and journal. It doesn't have to be a really long entry. Again, it's just a sentence. The reason why I started doing this is because my family have terrible memories. We all suck at it. We're always constantly going, did that happen Wednesday? Did that happen last week? Did that happen three years ago? And we're always completely wrong. So I wanted to keep a more comprehensive journal about what happened when so I can go back and look over them and go oh wow that was two years ago oh, wow that was only last week no way that's why this little guy exists at the moment I am using a touch of paint insert honestly probably my all-time favorite inserts guys I adore these so much I just adore the papers in them and just the different sort of textures and colors that come out I find it really really inspiring so yes go check out rain store it's super super cute again i've tried to deck him out because i do carry him around but i just haven't gotten sort of haven't gotten really into the my all-time favorite washi tapes um into doing that yet i guess just being super lazy because a lot of what i carry around in this i will carry around in my delphonics pouch so i don't necessarily need to but i do think it'd be quite handy to have if i'm not my husband full of balloons. How cute is that? Um, yeah, just handy to carry around him a bit more stocked and ready to go. And I do like a good, thick, stock looked looking insert. So that's beautiful Finnan. Now what dangle, what's dangling off Finnan is this pearl necklace originally. It's a pearl pendant that was given to me by my parents on my 18th birthday. I think pearls are so classy and so beautiful. Um, they could only afford this or they could only find this at the time, but I still adore it. It's got diamonds and a real pearl and I just, I love it. And on the end is a snowflake pendant. The chain broke because I have a son who likes to try and hang off it. <laughs> um, my husband gives me snowflake necklaces all the time. Any major event in our life, he usually gifts me with a snowflake necklace, which I find a little bit random, but it's become this weird little tradition, so I adore it. So when we started dating, when we got engaged, when I had my son, is the major ones that we that he's given me a snowflake necklace. So he gets this little one gets carried around on my on my little TN, which I think is really cute. And I do like the fact that it, this is going to be a little weird side note. I love the fact that I have something from my husband on this because we do watch um, The Last Kingdom and talk about the books a lot together. So again, 
just another sort of dedication to my husband, <laughs> which I think is really cute. Now, the next one is my Sojourner. I do love my Sojourner. Look how thick it is. It's so beautiful and floppy. We all know how much I love this. So nice. Um, this was the last one that I got, but I did order it before my um, last Traveler's Notebook, which I will talk about in a second. But my Sojourner, it's the Sand A6. Um, I adore it. It was a little bit of a drama getting here. It got lost in the mail. So they resend another one, and then the second one showed up, and it was, oh, it was all hectic. So it took about six months to physically get into my hands. But now that she's here, I love her. Her name is Mayu. So this was dedicated to my beautiful Japanese friend or half Japanese friend, Aisha. She helped me name this one because I love her and I love my Sojourner. Um, Aisha also has a Sojourner as well. So she's, we're, we're, we're Sojourner sisters. <laughs> she has the exact same one as well. So I'm, yeah, I, this surgeon has a special place in my heart because of that as well as because I adore it and it's super beautiful. So my Sojourner, so Mayu has two pass, two passports, two inserts, again A6. I have my happy mail, so every time I get happy mail or something cute in the mail, I dedicate a spread to it. When they get eventually filled up, I will go through a flip through. I try and use only what I am gifted or what I what was yeah given to me in the mail just so it's a bit more sort of dedicated to that particular person or that particular purchase I guess and then the other one is the rose stationery insert again this is a art one where I just do whatever the heck I want and we all know how much I love this one I have been bragging about it constantly for the past month I have already ordered two more because I adore them. So that's my Sojourner. Not really a, a huge story to tell with her, but I do love her. At the front is a pin from ours. It's the messenger bag bird pin charm. I made it into a charm by bending the pins to it. I'm going to get another attachment, like another those circular attachments, sort of like this to put on it as well because sometimes if you stretch the fabric too thin it slips through the tiny little gaps that that are there and i have to try and find a way to reattach it which is just ridiculously frustrating so i will need to find a different way and it's sort of dinting the thing it buffs out quite fine but i do want it to fit a little bit more loosely especially when i pull it off it's so stiff so i want to be able to pull it around and so it's not sort of underneath when i journal because then it creates a bump and it's just frustrating. So I will be altering it a tiny little bit to make it a bit more user friendly, but I do adore it. I got the messenger bag one because it just fits because it's my happy mail journal more than anything. And I think that's really cute. Now, my last journal. My last journal is Aoife. She is probably my favorite journal. The reason why I got Aoife is because over the past couple of months my mental health had been suffering I didn't know what I was doing there was a couple of personal things happening in my life that were making me struggle and then I realized I was censoring myself in my other journals because of Instagram and YouTube I wasn't writing down my feelings I wasn't writing down proper entries because of flip throughs and I didn't want people to see what I was experiencing at the time. So I was just not writing anything down. So I've got months of thing, months of events that I didn't track and I didn't document, which honestly breaks my heart because I don't really remember everything that happened or I don't, I don't, or I can't relive the emotions and the experiences as well as if I was rereading them back to myself because obviously when you're in the moment and you're writing it's a more raw and true experience so I bought Aoife to be completely private obviously I'm going to show her how I set her up and um, what's inside her at the moment but the insert itself you won't be seeing I'm not going to do a quick even a quick little 
like flip through of it. It's going to be completely personal because she is my safe space. I adore her. She has been helping me so much with my mental health lately. It's insane. So that's why she's my favorite. She looks after me just as well as my family does. Yes, she is my vault and I adore her. So at the moment, I've got no little, no little embellishment on the end. I've got another um, spotlight, what do you call that, flower resin charm. Again, it's not great quality. Even the flower has started to get holes in it. Well, not started to. It had that originally. So I am getting a, I have commissioned someone, again in Australia, to make me a prettier one. That will arrive in the mail hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But it's still pretty. It fits really well on the color complements the brown really, really well, which I think is really cute. Um, I carry around this The Traveler's um, Notebook Plain Clip. I don't know why. This one's, I just find this one really cute compared to the other one. Compared to, hang on. Compared to this one. I have no idea why. I just think that one's really, really cute. And again, the gold or the brass, this kind of brass complements the brown really, really well. And then I have a little tag with the volume of what insert it is at the moment. This was gifted to me again by Aisha because she knows the way to my heart. <laughs> so as we open her up, I have this little taggy thing, I guess you could call it. Also, by the way, sticking these little pockets onto this journal was terrifying. I was so scared to do it. I'm super glad that I did it relatively well still terrifying. I was shaking like this, trying to put them all nice and straight and nice and neat. Anyway, sidetracked. So Madeline Naya is obviously my first and last name. On the back has all my details. So if this ever gets lost, if I leave it somewhere, they know how to track me. Um, the first pocket is June Lee stickers because we all know how obsessed I am with June Lee stickers. I cannot get enough of them. I adore them. So these are some of my all time favorites. I'm getting a lot more in the mail very, very soon. I especially love this doily. This is my all-time favorite doily. It's just so beautiful. So yes, that goes in that pocket there. My clear pocket, the first one, I only have a Polaroid of Paris. Um, my best friend lives in Paris. It just reminds me of her and it keeps me smiling because she's been a rock the last couple of months. I adore her. Shout out to Sarah. Mwah, I love you. And in the side pocket, I've just got random ephemera. Random ephemera is just strewn throughout all of this. This is basically my desk away from desk. I carry this around all over my house, anywhere I go. If I'm going away overnight, this guy comes with me. I love her. Um, these are my four out of five all-time favorite washi tapes. The Chuyohaku, the classic -y brown nut, and the Monotoko. Monokoto? Peace Bird washi tape. I carry these around because, again, they're my all-time favorite. I always use these. This is the Nostalgia um, Yohaku, and this is the Postcard Yohaku, or Vintage Postcard, I think it's called. Um, I have my other favorite, just so you guys know, is the Monokoto um, Hase collaboration on the My Garden, I think it's called. I adore this one. At the time, I didn't have a big enough um, washi tape sample stick thing. I am planning on, once I finish these, to add it to it, get a bigger one and add this to it. I've got a craft folder, which I decorated. Um, at the front, it has, again, random ephemera. This is from a Lucky Door Prize from a standard binary, which was a cute little stationery store here in um, Brisbane. Unfortunately, I think they've closed down, which makes me really, really sad because it was super cute. I adored it. Got all my tea and stuff from there. And then I've got some random stickers, some classic -y, um chairs and numbers, and some Liberi stamps. I mean, not stamps. Stickers. And then I've got the plastic washi sticker sheets with La Dolce Vita and the pin, the MT pin and clip tapes all cut out ready to be used this is such a great idea you guys i got it from oh one bujo 
um, that's where I first saw it used. They've, I don't know if she did it first, but I see it around a lot. Um, and I adore it. I think it's a really, really good idea. This is the volume that you'll never see. <laughs> I made this though. I'll go to the back to show you some of the pages that I just threw into it. I made this myself with some random pieces of paper that I had lying around with watercolor paper at the front. I decorated the front. It's volume 11. I adore it more. I keep the um, sort of the sample sticker from the top of washi tapes just because they're a good sticker to have because they've got the nice big pattern on the front, which I think is really cute. More La Dolce Vita. Some random ephemera, some classic some vintage um, receipts and checks, your haku paper and some of the Odia receipt paper. I love this. The texture in this is gorgeous. Um, again, more classic -y. The brass plain clip I kept this part I have no idea why honestly I feel like it's because it just fits with the classic -y, um, letter note cards or letter card letterpress cards really cutely I think that's really cute so that keys all there this is my mess I love my mess don't judge my mess it's beautiful it's got a bunch of different stuff this was um, a little package that came with some stickers and stuff from a pen pal Aisha again because she's just so talented at decorating things look at that beautiful. So I keep this with a bunch of random stuff in it, some lamp and papery, some printables, more little classic -y al albums, little classic -y labels, some LCN labels, just a bunch of little stuff. And then in here, again, just a heap of just stuff. I've got printables from Paper Hands, more classic -y stuff, more Odia stuff, more Owl stuff, the story pages. Um, printable which I adore this is really cute so yeah again just a bunch of random nonsense I've got some of the awagami papers in here the ones that I really think are really cute and really nice more classic -y. it's a mess because that's how I live that's how I journal I'm a messy journal so everything's messy and I'm okay with it where is I think I used to have a little tiny hmm that's not there anymore interesting I wonder where that went Oh well, I used to have a little pocket for other tiny stickers and stuff like that. Maybe I've used them all, that's probably what's happened, and I've just not refilled it. And on the very back, the last pocket wish th with the pencil board. So that's my little flip through of my desk away from desk, my beautiful Aoife. Again, I adore her. She is definitely my favourite journal, because again, she keeps all my secrets. She knows things. But yeah, you guys, that's all my journals. I really hope you liked this overly long explanation as to, as to what I use them all for. Um, I hope you get some inspiration as to how to use your journals or even some justification to get more than one or two. As you can see, I use all mine and I use them all pretty well as well, which I think is a testament to my stubbornness as to justifying to my husband why I needed six different journals. But that's okay. Um, I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all safe in these crazy, crazy times. I will talk to you guys later.